dear viewers welcome again our today's lesson is related with two special types of verbs okay please look at the two sentences here in the first sentence uh, Sakib is playing cricket okay so in this sentence uh, who is the doer of the action Sakib so uh, Sakib is the subject of the sentence next what is the action performed by Sakib playing so playing is the verb okay what is Saki playing Sakib is playing cricket so cricket is the object here okay now uh, you there may be a question arises uh, in your mind sir how can we get object okay no problem actually if we ask the verb with what or whom the answer we get is the object okay now in the first sentence Sakib is playing cricket okay now you make a question with what what is Sakib playing the answer will be cricket so cricket is the object to get object you have to make question with what and whom and the word you get as answer is called the object okay now dear viewers now uh, you can see that uh, in the first sentence Sakib is playing cricket here we have an object but in the second sentence Sakib is playing in the field here we have no object now I think you can uh, easily guess what might be our today's topic yes our uh, today's topic uh, is about transitive and intransitive verb okay actually a transitive or intransitive verb depends on whether direct object is available in the sentence or not now uh, another question arises in your mind direct object yes actually in a sentence there may be more than one object okay now please look at the sentence here he teaches us English okay he is the doer so he is the subject teaches is the uh, a verb and here we have two object one is us and another is English how they are object because uh, you just make a question with what what does he teach the answer will be English so English is a op is an object okay then if you uh, make another question with whom does he teach the answer will be us so us is another object okay now the question which one is direct object and which one is indirect okay no problem I am uh, making it clear to you that actually the answer we get by making a question with whom is called indirect object okay if you make a question with whom okay and the answer you got get is called indirect object here uh, if you make a question with whom does he teach the answer will be us so us will be indirect object okay and if you make the question with what and the answer you get that will be the direct object okay now make a question with what what does he teach English so English is the direct object here okay actually um, we have uh, in the first sentence you please uh, we have we have a object we have an object but in the second sentence we have no object now we can come to conclusion that actually the verb that has a direct object to receive the action okay is called transitive verb again I am telling you the verb that has a direct object to receive the action is called transitive verb so playing is transitive here but here uh, 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 
Sakib is playing in the field. In this uh, sentence, playing, the verb playing has no object. So, here playing is intransitive. Now, let us have a look at some other examples uh, to understand whether they are transitive or not. Okay, now, in the first sentence, we can see I met Rakib. Yes, I is the subject, met is the verb, and Rakib is the object. Why? Because because uh, if I make a question with uh, whom did I meet, the answer will be Rakib. So, Rakib is object. So, Matt is transitive verb here. In the second sentence, I loved. I is the subject. Loved is the verb. Here, uh, there is no object to receive the action. So, loved verb is intransitive. In the third sentence, my mother cooked delicious food. Here, my mother is the subject, cooked is the verb, and delicious food is object. Why? Because if you make a question with uh, what does, what did my mother cook, the answer will be delicious food. So, delicious food is the object, and for this reason, cook verb is transitive. Rakib rode a bike. What did Rakib ride? The answer will be a bike. So, a bike is the object. So, here the verb is transitive. The last of all, the beggar crossed the street. Okay, now, uh, make a question with uh, what did the beggar cross? The answer will be the street. So, the street is the object. Since uh, the verb has an object, it is called transitive verb. Okay, this is the end of our today's lesson. Uh, we will come back with another topic. Till then, goodbye. Have a nice time.